This is probably one of the rarest treats that I've ever been able to share with you guys. So, hey guys, it's Michael Todd and welcome to the Cult of Vintage. Today, you guys, we are at a brand new place. I have never been here. Uh, we are in Holly, Pennsylvania at the Holly, Holly Antique Exchange. Um, there is a massive and pretty special, exciting thing, exhibition that resides in the basement. Uh, we're gonna get inside, see if we can't find anything for sale, uh, maybe for collecting. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys what hides downstairs. Let's get inside and do it. Alrighty guys, here we are on the exterior. It looks like they're gonna have a flea market the 29th and 30th. We're gonna be missing that. I'll be in Ohio, but um, wow. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. I can see peeking through the window here. So let's do it guys. Here we go. They are open 10 to 5 every single day. Downstairs is only open on Saturdays though, okay? Alrighty guys, so right off of the bat, we are going to walk into a hallway of cases that leads us into the antique mall at large. Oh, look at that fair pig. He's a biggin. He is a biggin. He is busting through the gate. A little bit more classic there with the two pigs in the coin purse. Wonder if we'll find any creepy babies today. Got some old fishing lures. I like this. We've got a variety of glass and pottery. Uh, we've got Van, Vic Van Briggle, Roseville, Weller. Look at that tin type in there. Those are great. Civil War gentleman with what I'm assuming is his bride. We get down here under the paper mache, the woolly lambs. Even some kitsch, the little left and devils there. Those are only at, no, I can't tell. 65, it seems to be for the pair, which <laughs> you usually get those individually. Ooh, look at the bliss. Yep. Uh, so back here, we've got an old wooden toy. It's a little stable here that you're seeing. Uh, and then it's got a lithograph on it, a paper that's been adhered, of course, to the wood. That one's at 125. I've never seen this stable before. That's pretty exciting. I thought they only did uh, houses. So nice to see. Um, they did do some friend. Oh my gosh, look at the little itty bitty miniature set of bowling pins down there. That is adorable. You know, we love the tiny treasures here. Speaking of tiny treasures, we've got a whole bunch of, it looks to be vintage dollhouse furniture. Look at that settee back there. That's only 16, not bad on that one. Tell you, if you find that antique doll furniture, my goodness. Oh, look at that little hat stand back there on the uh, bureau. That's fun. That bed is great. The brass crib right there. Nice. And of course we do have a uranium and Vaseline glass case display here. Really nice. This ain't nothing. There's your hint in comparison to what I'm going to try to show you guys. We're going to head into this room here to the left. Let's see if we can find anything. I don't know, that Bliss horse stable is really weighing heavy on my mind right now. Not gonna lie. Anything else? This is probably gonna be a longer video just because we've never been here and I really wanna give you guys the full experience. So I'm literally just gonna film I won't say everything, but the vast majority of me walking around, I see the chenille, but it's a baby blanket. I haven't done too well with the baby blankets. They're just so specific. I know a lot of people are hesitant of putting or using vintage textiles with their babies, which is totally understandable. Hmm. 
we got our display windows. This one was a little bit further down, so I didn't see this one. It's past the entrance. My goodness, there is a lot to see though, isn't there? Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, a little pink Fenton. Oh, it's got the cabbage leaf on it. I'm not the biggest fan. Who is she? I don't know. <clears throat> Ooh, there's a Christmas closet back there. We'll definitely have to check that out. Let's go back there now. Ooh, it's a little narrow. We're going to pay attention to. Okay. Hmm. Christmas closet. A little bit more of the contemporary. Though I am seeing some vintage, most specifically these deer. Oh, Lord, I'm going to have to bend down. Here we go. It's a whole herd. Ooh, look at the angry deer. They got the rabies. Can reindeer get rabies? I don't know. You get a whole little set here. For 32. He's very, oh, he's not entirely angry. He's unsure up to his feelings. Okay, let's head on over. Oh, I just saw these. I think I saw these on eBay. Richard and I were checking these out. 195 for this set is far cheaper than what we were seeing them online. I love very Victoria Art Nouveau, almost an Art Nouveau movement. It seems like it might be at the cusp of. wonder if those weren't imported. Oh my goodness, look at everything. Oh, I love a full antique mall. Got some fun glass animals. They kind of look like uh, pilgrim glass. Ooh, one of my favorites. I don't think this is Royal Ducks. Hmm. Okay, so it turns out it's something called Belford. I don't, I've never heard of them, but it is an Austrian Art Nouveau. Uh, peaches, grapes, whichever, not grapes necessarily, but peaches or apples. I have a number of these. It's one of my favorite things. I just love the very natural colors. That one's 43. It's certainly not unheard of. Ooh, hey, look. We've got some more pink Fenton. That one's 30. That one's older. I I know that, that sounds crazy. I might go ahead and pick this one up. This pink Fenton milk glass is just so difficult to get. Let's hold on to it just in case. Look at that purple satin glass. It's got to, it almost, I think this is a Westmoreland um, bead and wave pattern is what I'm remembering. That one's at 20. There is some scuffing, which is not unheard of with, you know, satin glass. It's, it's pretty, but it's just, oof, it can be such a pain to maintain. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, World's Fair. Oh, it is the Chicago one. 1894. We've got views of the World Fair. That one's pretty cool. It says as found. Looks to be an overall pretty good condition. Paper labeling here. The spine does appear to be missing, but it's not, again, unheard of for that. My goodness, it is just chock full. Let's see if we can find anything else. Um, we've got some, what is that down here? Is it a photocopy? Uh, now that, I'm definitely digging whoever did this. They photocopied the actual word puzzle. Sell Chow Writer Sliced Animal Word Puzzle, 1890s, $8 for... Oh, there's more. We have lion. We have goat. Sheep. Fox. The wolf. Ooh. These are awesome. Look at those graphics. Cow. Church. Is that it? Ooh, look at that big old scrapbook. Looks like it was framed. 30% off. How much? 50. So, I don't know. Math. Boo. <laughs> we'll 
check out and see if anything else. Looks like some movie posters. Um, not really. Ooh, Beef Naked Paradise. What's going on? Oh, there's more than one. <laughs> of course there is. Um, oh, Buffalo. Oh, wait, there's another one. Giraffe. Buffalo. Oh, what's this one? I can't. Hold on. I'll be back. All right, so I was able to run a comp, and not only was I able to run a comp, I was able to learn something really interesting. So these are the original ones. These are, in fact, from the actually 1880s. This is when these were originally produced. They were reproduced then in the 1930s. The difference being the ones that are in the 30s are a much thicker card stock, whereas these are the thinner while still thicker, they're not like paper, flimsy paper. Um, they would have come in a box set. Obviously, these are being sold individually. I'm going to go through and pick out my favorite ones because I think at $8, um, this is pretty phenomenal. Oh, Buffalo is only three because we're missing a piece. So I'm going to put Buffalo. Damn, I'm not excited about. Uh, Wolf is a 100%. Lion is 100%. Giraffe. We're going to get Giraffe. Um, fox, yes, sheep, or, oh, I don't know, I'm not in love with this one, I mean, it's cool, well, I'll get church, why not, Step, these look like they're actually from New Orleans, I don't, I'm not in love, how many am I getting? One, two, three, four. Um, this sheep I'm not in love with. I'm not overly in love. Okay, so I'm just going to get those ones. So it looks like you guys downstairs, the museum is open. Should we go down now or should we do the shop? Let's do more shopping. Oh, we're gonna I'm gonna do it to you. I am gonna do it to you. Look at the old wool sailors costume there. Hmm. A beaded gecko. He's lurking. We do have some more cases. Let's see. Let's see any any more tiny treasures? Bathing Beauty over there. Oh, there's another Bathing Beauty. She's at 125. <laughs> Definitely the going rate on those things. Oh, look at the little lockets. Oh, look at that porcelain one. She's got the scarf with the pearls. Oh my goodness, look. And then we have the smaller ones there. That's really pretty. I love those. I love these buttons. Thank you, Miss Glowy Girl. She actually just got me one from a sale with Misty. So that was... I love it. Alright guys, let's see what else we can find. About a little mid cinch glass. Looks like we are in... Is this Dominion? I believe. What do we got on that one? 95. That's not hateful. Look at that colonial blue. That's a big end from Fenton there. That one's 159. That's actually really good. Um, look at the color, that red and blue together. That's really pretty. I'm enjoying that. Okay, so we have more of the antique mall. More of the antique mall. Oh my goodness, there's an upstairs even. This is awesome. Love it. Ooh. I love this. Look at that. Oh my God. The beaded. Okay, I'm. Confabble little. I can't even talk. So we've got the beaded pieces here. 1920. Loving this one here in the front. Um, antique Iroquois beaded purse. Probably sold as roadside stands, most likely in South Dakota. Until the 60s, high relief bead work. That's cool. And I'm also seeing this one back here. Do you see that scrapbook? It says antique scrapbook of newspaper clipping 1890s and it is seven dollars I mean, condition looks a little rough but oh look at the tiny little look at the dolls the bisque babies in their matchbooks 
those are vintage bisque cutie dolls in original boxes japan thirty dollars each i'm not mad at it oh look at this incense burner right here this one's 225 i just got an absolutely amazing one it's honestly probably four times that size from an online auction i'm really digging all of these oh look there's more tiny treasures there they are oh this is good this is some good good stuff um I mean, that scrapbook is in rough condition, but it's only $7. I think we should get it. Whoa. Oh, look at this, Moriyagi. Oh, it was repaired. Look at the finial on Look at the detailing. All of that slip work on there. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. I have a dish like that. Not here, but I have one. Okay. With that kind of... I love it. Mm-hmm. That one's a beauty. We got a hairline in there, but... Okay, at 79, I'm not mad at it. It would probably be like twice to three times, but they really did price it for the condition that it's in. Oh, that is beautiful to see. We've got some great display cabinets here. Lovely clear glass, lots of vintage jewelry. Oh, look at all the tiny treasures. It's so fun. Hey, there's even money in here. Let's check out over here. I don't know. Should we go upstairs? Should we just go ahead and do this case and then we'll head upstairs? Why not? Check it out upstairs. Oh, here we've got the, oh, the wave crest. My goodness. I don't know if that's actually true wave crest. 225 that's actually relatively inexpensive. We've been on the hunt for those pieces and there's some serious ka -ching on those. Look at that chest set right here. So those are bone carved. Oh, look at the royal family back there. That is fun. Four twenty-five on that one. What a hidden gem here in Holly. Oh, you've even got some raggedy hands over there. Oh, a little dolly dingle over here. It's a Christmas one. Oh, that's it. That's an original. Isn't that adorable? Great colors. Okay, let's just go ahead and let's head upstairs and see what we can find there, guys. Ooh, okay, I'm not gonna do it. I'm seeing the glass, resist. Let's go over here to the books. Oh my goodness. I'm just beside myself right now. Kings of the battlefield. It's aggressive out there. Okay, let's check it out. A scrapbook. Postcards. Ooh, these are advertisement cards. I know there is some postcards in there too. Handle with care. These two are cute. 24. The clowns on pigs. Who doesn't need clowns on pigs? Oh, look at that advertisement tin. It's like a Punch and Judy. Farmer's wife. Woman's Day. Big picture storybook. That one's at 30. Hans Christian Andersen? Hmm. Who is that? 1922. Pull that out and look at it a little bit closer. I like the hardbound books. Let's pull these two out and see if we can see them a little bit better. That one looks to be about 1920s. Again, in the 1920s. I'm also seeing this over here. What is this? The Esquire Holiday Packet. Ooh, it's at 125. Esquire pinup calendar and poster in the original gift box. <laughs> She's clothed, don't worry. Look at that. Ooh. 
that's amazing. They're Varga girls. Okay, these two and the Hans Christian Andersen, I am going to leave those behind. Um, I don't think that the price is bad. It's just for these, I would like them to be full color. Um, that typically drives those prices up. But on these, I think it's cool. They're fun. Um, overall, really good condition, especially for the price. But I want them to be in color. Alrighty, checking the shelves here. Fenton Blue Opalescent, eight and a half inch. We're at 38. That is not hateful, especially for that size, that's for sure. Um, kind of standard on that. <laughs> Little chalkware QP, 32. Little Ransburg down there, the green. You can kind of see it poking out there. Oh, there's marble eggs, but we're looking for the pastels. Okay, guys, let's see what else we can find. Gotta watch your step so we don't go crashing into the glass and pottery, it looks like. Um, let's see. And we got some Sigma, the Puros. That one's 50. The little dish back there is 40. Those aren't by prices. Um, I don't see anything that's really like, I need you to take me home. I don't, okay. So what's over here? A little Culver ice bucket here. Ooh, these are cool. $30. Uh, these do look to be... Oh, there's a break. Gemini, you see it there. Still a great decor piece. I mean, it's not like you're, you know, you stick a candle in them if you were to use them. And at $30, that's not a terrible price. A giant plush Lego head over there. Mm. Tons of reference books. I wonder if they have a Viking class. <laughs> oh, these are just okay. These are just like Morgan. I thought they were reference books. Turn it. <laughs> Pretty pink opalescent, 29. It's not reading as nice on camera as it is in real life. That's disappointing. Mm. Reproductions. Ew, look at that candle. I love these. This is interesting. What is that? Okay, it goes all the way through. Interesting. Did a Murano style. Very narrow. Super mod tin canisters, the little face jug, raw. Low bridge. This is an interesting jardinier, kind of arts and crafts lines at least. Hmm. Who are they attributing it to? Roseville? 1300. Interesting. Those look like knockoff Miss Dainties. It's a low bridge in here. There's baskets. Long a burger. Trying to take me out. I don't appreciate it. Oh, here we have some more. Colonial. 
That one is, I'm leaning, 119. Ooh, look at this Dominion. Where are we at? 229. It's a hard pattern to get, y'all. Look at that. That's a big end. All right, we're gonna head down the stairs and hit up the rest of the mall, guys. Totally passed them as we were going up the stairs. An Armand Marcel. I already have enough Armands. I do. This is probably another AM. Marcel Besco. Cute, but I have enough Germans. I really want a French one. Lots of depression wear. Some Vaseline. Oh, this coin dot is cute. Green ruffled polka dot. <laughs> Okay, that's a pretty color. I like that. Okay, I'll slot that one down. Hmm. It's the mauve agate pond down there. I don't know if we're seeing anything else for us. Oh. Oh. Um, antique blocks, 48 for that set. I'm going to check that out. All right, so I'm going to hold on to this so I don't... Ooh. <laughs> you know, I had one of these and I regret. I have regretted selling it. We got a lot of children. Um, it looks like it's missing at least one block. I have regretted selling my set for a hot minute. This is an excellent set and the $48 price point is just killing me. Look at that. It's so good. Oh, it's a dead pig. What's going on there? Let's see if we can do this one handed. I don't want to ruin any of the images. Oh, sad puppy. Okay, we're doing it. All right, so we've got some, I like this pink. Is this etched? Yeah, it is etched. Ooh, look at this stein. The Wedgwood there. Grandma's back there in the corner. I don't know what she's doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask questions. Oh, otter hunting scene. It's got a fish. This one is about to snatch it. Oh, I think that's mama and baby. Nothing tragic to see there, folks. Uh, oh, tiny, even tinier treasures. Ooh. Hey. Additional matter, magic lantern slides included in showcase. Magic lantern slides and viewer. Well, we obviously have one. This is interesting. Huh. Might have to remember that one. So we got little Bakelite furniture here. There is just so much to see. Look at this cut glass. That powder jar is interesting. The lid. That one's 15 Why is it only $15? Is there something wrong with that? I like that handle on that. That's beautiful. I'm going to pick that up at $15. I've never seen a lid quite like that one. That's a cool piece. I'm excited by that. Oh, we're getting, I really feel like we're getting some amazing high quality items. My goodness. Some great vintage textiles down here. Those the 50s vibes going on. Let's check out our prices and see. Let's set you safely back here. All right, a little Tollware-esque. 25, darn, too rich for my blood, but good for a collector. Whoa, look at these lamps back here. Holy, look at, well, more specifically, look at these shades. I mean, it is a look, and I'm not mad at this look. There's two. Am I getting them both in frame? Yes. Oh, purdy. 725 for the set. Venetian pair of Venetian Miramo. Okay. 
That's some old Murano. What are you right here? It says unusual storybook, 45 RPM records. Two packs of three records, total of six. 30 for all. Oh, they're like bat. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, here we are removed. They're like storybooks with the record. Look at the images on these. Pictorial records, Little Bo Peep, patent pending. Look at that image on there. You open it. Oh! How pretty. Oh. These deserve to be framed. Jack and Jill, they went down the hill. Oh, look at the three kids. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mother Goose and the Pied Piper. Stop it. You stop it. Are the records the actual pictures? What is going on, Chow? I don't see the group. Oh my gosh, the record is the picture. They're picture discs. Oh, they're beautiful. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get this whole set. Um, I love these images and I really feel like this is just something special. It needs to be saved. Um, not that it's, <laughs> it's not like it's at the thrift store or anything like that, but let's get this into the hands of somebody that's going to love it. Maybe that person's me. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to focus on the right half here because we're going to come back down. So then We'll focus on the other side. I'm trying not to look over there and get distracted. <laughs> What's that? Hmm. Some old lithographs here. Oh, I see this frame, but that one's at 148 or album, part of me. 30. Is it hand painted? It is hand painted, yep. But that's a little rich for our blood. So we'll see if there's anything else here. Herman. Oh. Michael. We're good. Don't worry, we're good. Um, that's a pretty piece. That one's a uh, 85. Huh. All right. Okay, we're gonna circle back and we'll come out here the other side. All right, back to the exterior here. There's so much to see. <laughs> Do we have any hidden? There's a Dr. Seussical hat down there for you. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Hmm. Don't so much for us. I hope you guys, I know you're probably spotting something that you would absolutely love. But I can't buy everything. I can't. Oh, look at that boudoir doll. She's got a great composition. Face, great look to her. Original body. She looks to be in pretty good condition. She's priced at 67. Not bad. Mohair wig on her. Oh, look at these. These shelf sitters up here, these jesters. Ooh, they're nefarious. They haul in molds. No. Ceramic arts. Whoa. He's 20. This one's 115 because it's not broken. <laughs> this one's 20 because he has a repair. Ooh, he got really repaired. Dang, I got super excited. It's a fantastic look. Am I mad at it at $20? I almost kind of want to rescue him, right? Hmm. Michael. I'm going to leave it there for somebody else or something. I can't buy everything. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, look at this soldier. What is it made out of? Composition, that's the heaviest 
composition I've ever, oh my gosh, look at that flapper QB. Oh, she's adorable. 120. All right, we'll check back here with you guys. All right, it looks like we just have one more booth and then we're right back to where we started from. So we'll see if it, oh, look at those shades down there. I'll get to those in just a second. But it looks like we have more uranium and Vaseline glass in here. Oh, look at that single horn. <gasps> that Burmese back there, 175 on that. I love that silver plate stand. She's elegant. Some books here. Let me back up. Get it a full view. Ooh, look at that sparkler there. That's fun. Little paper mache egg. That's a fun spice tin. Oh, look at that case. Wow. That was somebody who had some money back in the day. Holy. Let's see. Now, I don't know if I can get into this cabinet or not. I'm never the best with these things. I don't, don't know that it would, there's no lock, is there? No. Hmm, let me try the right hand. Okay, you just pull it open. <laughs> you just kind of pull it open. Now, look, I'm not going to be able to afford this. I can already tell, but let's just... It smells good in here. This cabinet, I want to see how much you are. 125 Excuse me? Look at that case. Whoa. That's actually really inexpensive for that kind of a case. <gasps> oh, he's a thinking man. He is a thinker, that's for sure. Right, let's just see. Oh my God, they're all the way on the floor, y'all. Stop it. <laughs> is this down to anything? What are we at? Set of four pink satin. Hmm. Good bit of chips. I mean, that obviously you would never see that. $40 for the set of four. I mean, stop. Whoa. What are you, who are you back here working? I'm sorry, you're getting a... Ooh. Okay, Michael, stop it and resist. We've still got another half of the downstairs to explore before... We get to the museum. Yeah, I'm doing it. We're going to hold off on the museum to the very end. What's down here? Is that Snow White? Are these building blocks? Wood block puzzle the lithograph. Stop it. No, you stop it. I love these antique toys. It's one of my most... 36 for Snow White. Huh. It's all taped up. I wish I could see. I mean, judging from what I can see, the blocks seem to be in exceptional condition. $36. Wow, that is one heck of a deal. We're going to have to take it with us. What do we got here? Dolly Jump Ups and their new house. What? These are all like rubber band together. It's kind of wedged under the shelf here. Bear with me. Okay, hold on. Okay, so we have 1947. Dolly Jump Up pop-up books. Needs a little work with pop-ups. All three books are $12. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on in here. So apparently it is moving day and then the dolly jump ups are going, oh my gosh, look at that. It is adorable. <gasps> Mother's Day off. So they're doing all of the work. It is a rainy day. A little table tennis action happening over here. So yeah, there is some work that needs to be done. The birthday, the children's hour. Look at, these are actually really cute. The Jolly Jump Ups on the farm. Whoa. Oh my gosh. This one's split. The ABCs. Ooh, this one looks to be pretty rough. 
but still some twelve dollars for all of them i'm gonna get it hey guys so moving on there's like a lot of twists and turns let's pop in right in here and see what happened over i mean i guess she's having a good time that's all that matters right doesn't appear to be hurting herself what is that that moulin rouge little program there interesting some clothes and then we have some vintage toys but we're doing really good with the antique toys here today so oh, there's a green leaf dollhouse down there all right there's a speaker right by so i'm gonna kind of try to talk as loud as i can but yet yeah, give you guys a good shot of what we're working with lots of clear glass um i'll check back in with you if we find anything else how about that okay we're entering into a little bit of the garden area back here and we're gonna spin around over here see if we see anything um not so much for us let's see here a little bit of the dresden-esque girls let's see some jewelry some hobbyist bunny there he's definitely is having a day Ooh, marana vase spotted All right that vase is right over here 68 on this one that one's gorgeous oh it's fully felted on the bottom this believe it or not is actually a marano Glass vase, 68 is spendy for me. That's a good deal. Uh, that pink one is stunning too. Oh my gosh, there's more building blocks. Um, that set is 98. And you're only getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks. So talk about a good score on that other set. My goodness. Um, this one's pretty. It's a little too close to a basket. For my liking, 49 on that one. Seven Seas Smoking Tobacco. Santa loves to smoke. Well, he does have his pipe, right? There's a little Mercury. 3,800 on that. Oh my gosh. It's a full cabinet filled with tiny treasures. How much is the doll? 10. Renoir. Hmm. Alrighty. Okay, guys, let's see what else we can find. Looks like we've got some Asian infusion over here. Um, not my thing. But still cool to see. A little Weller's up there, though, too. Gosh darn it. Ooh, look at that mirror. Ooh, she's pretty. It's a bit more of an understated, but I love... The height and that tone in that wood is beautiful. Goodness. Some mid-century pottery. Ooh, look at the shade on that one. Oh, that's beautiful. 140. What does it say? Vintage ornate brass pedestal. As found. Oh, it's 38. Okay. Darn it. <laughs> uh, what do we got going on over here? Um, everyone knows what a dragon looks like. Well, they do now. All right. See anything over here, guys? Uh, I don't think... All right, well, it looks like it is that time to head downstairs. All right, guys, we're going to do it. I don't know really what to expect, to be honest with you, but we'll check it out. Well, we're being serenaded, but um, that was unexpected. Do you see this? It's all Vaseline glass. You got, oh my God, look at that clock. Oh, oh my Lord.
What is going on right now? <gasps> this is crazy. Oh. Goodness. <sighs> it's beautiful. What do you guys think? Was it worth the wait? Gorgeous. I mean, I knew this was going to be cool. I didn't know that this was going to be. Look at this e burn. Oh my god. I didn't know it was going to be like this, you guys. I, I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to be to this level. I, look at this. The fact that we have the player piano going too, I feel rude talking. Of course, I'd probably go to the cheapest one. And <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. oh. Watermelon clear. Jeez. Oh. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is insane. <gasps> it's dark. Oh my god.
Oh my god. You <laughs> What is going on? This is magic. This is beyond. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so awesome. This is amazing. Is this all yours? Look at that. Oh. Look at all the rolls. Thank you so much for sharing this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. back over here. You guys, I am having so much fun. I hope that you really are enjoying this portion of the video. This is probably one of the rarest treats that I've ever been able to share with you guys. So we're gonna look around a little bit more and maybe we'll see it with the lights off again. One name. Okay guys, it's about to happen. Are we ready for it? Oh, it's amazing. This is so good. And it's just seeing it on video and being here three generations. Three generations. 
it's all just beautiful. I mean, by itself. And then, look at this. Where else? It's like an adult antique amusement park. This is impressive, to say the very least. To say the very, very least. Wow. Look at this. It's so fun. It is so, so fun. There's our current owner. He's working at his player piano. Let's go, let's peek through here, shall we? Oh, it's so fun. Amazing. Well, guys, there you have today's video. Listen, I drove two hours to come here. I would drive four. This is an amazing experience and truly an honor and a privilege and a pleasure to be able to be here and to be able to share this with you guys has been, it's just made it that much better. I really, truly do hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Um, again, an amazing experience. If you are in the area, if you are not in the area, make sure to visit. It is well worth it. As always, you guys, let me know down in the comments what your favorite find of the day is or the item you wished I had most picked up. But besides a giant room of Vaseline, uranium, player pianos, Nickelodeons. Yeah. And until next time, guys. Remember, keep it rusty, crusty, and dusty. Bye, guys.